I'm calling you out right here and right now. Stop lying to yourself when discovering that family history book you want to write. Howdy. I'm Devin Noel Lee, the author of a memoir, two published family histories, 60 scrapbooks, and 120 drafts about different ancestors that are in the process of becoming books. <laughs> My goal of Write Your Family History is to help you quickly write non-boring family histories to share your legacy with your loved ones. Today, I'm inviting you to stop lying to yourself about writing a family history so that you can be like me and the books I just mentioned that I have finished. Over the past decade, I have interacted with tens of thousands of genealogists. About a third of them talk about writing a family history. And yet, have you seen thousands of family histories flood your local genealogical library or clamor for space in your genealogical society newsletter? Let me know if you have. Why have few genealogists turned their dream into a reality? Perhaps they're lying to themselves. Numerous blogs post articles about the reasons why people have not written their books yet. While the ideas included in these posts and others like them are valid, they do not target family historians. There's one explanation that's not included on any of these lists. So what's the number one lie genealogists say that keep them from writing a family history? I'll write a book after I finish researching. No, you won't. Is genealogy research ever really done? Uh, rarely. In my mind, I hear a family historian modified version of a Miley Cyrus song called The Climb. There's always going to be another question. I'm always going to want to look into. There's always going to be an unsearched resource. Sometimes I'm going to be confused. Ain't about how soon I finish. Ain't about what's waiting for me to find. It's all about the climb. Genealogy research isn't a sprint or a marathon. It can be a lifelong hobby and pursuit. And if that's the case, we need to stop telling ourselves when we get to the other side of our climb, we'll finally write our family histories. Instead, perhaps we should make writing part of the genealogy journey. The Board for Certification of Genealogists says we should strive to collect all information potentially relevant to the questions they investigate. In this blog post, you may think you will never reach the goal of reasonably exhaustive searches. You may never resolve point six. Some conflicts require divine intervention to resolve. Are we to wait for the second coming of Christ before we can write a family history? You may constantly worry about point seven. New evidence can overturn conclusions at any point. Just ask people who discover that their family tree has an unexpected paternal deviation from what records revealed. Should we be afraid to write because we might be incorrect? If we wait to write and publish a family history until ancestors or descendants, all of them are accounted for with completely documented life events, our family history books will never exist. And the worst part of not writing your history is your relatives will miss out on connecting to their heritage. So fight the little lie with a small change. Instead of saying, I will write a book after I finish researching, tell yourself and put into practice this new motto. I will write a book while I am researching. This simple change will move you closer to your dream of writing a family history. Why? Because when you finally decide you have enough stories to make a book, you will have most of your draft written which is the hardest part, the first draft. You won't be starting from square one on your book project. You just have to organize and revise your stories for a final project. I challenge you to stop lying and start incorporating writing as a synergistic part of genealogy research. I can promise you that you will find it easier to write your stories.
but this will also dramatically impact you and improve your skills as a researcher. I discovered this after writing the first drafts of 120 ancestors. When I retire, I will quickly transform those drafts into books and fill my shelves with my family legacy. But in the meantime, I have become a more thoughtful and thorough researcher. So stop lying and start writing and let me know when you succeed. I'm here for you to cheer you on all the way through. If I've given you value during this video, please click the like button, share this video, and leave a comment for others and myself. If you're ready for the next valuable family history writing tip, check out this video right here.